Hey there, Abiding Fam, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making this fun and unique waterfall card for inside your journal. This is a great way to add extra photos or just more memorabilia or just to have a really fun interactive element in your journal. Before we get started, I just want to of course make a cup of tea because you know that's my favorite thing to do before I sit down and journal. But I also wanted to take this opportunity to encourage you to please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. It would just mean the world to me to have you join our abiding fam. We are all about helping you to live a meaningful life full of abiding creativity, joy, and love. And one of our favorite ways to do that here is through journaling. And that's why today we are creating this unique element for inside our journals, which is this fun waterfall card. So. The reason that I wanted to create this journaling card that has these many layers is because I had all of these photos from a backpacking trip with Ben that I wanted to include in my journal, but I wasn't sure how I could possibly incorporate them all onto a single page. So what I decided to do, rather than have them all spread across multiple pages, was to create this basically a flip book that becomes this fun interactive element in the journal that flips up as you can see and on each of those pieces there will be different photos or different ephemera whatever you want to put really but it just gives you more surface space to work with so let's go on an adventure and get started with this tutorial I promise it's a lot easier than it may look now you can use any paper you want for this project I'm going to be using this wildflower paper pad from Kaiser Craft. Though I will say double-sided paper is a great thing to use for this project if you have it. This paper is six and a half by six and a half and so I'm just going to cut it in half both ways so that I end up with three and a quarter by three and a quarter squares and basically you're just creating as many squares as you want to have in your flip book. So once you're done with those, you can set them aside and we're going to move on to the next piece which is going to be the cover and basically the mechanism that makes the waterfall card work. So for this, I'm just using a larger 12 by 12 inch sheet of paper. That doesn't matter too much. I just liked the idea of a larger sheet so that I had more room to play with. So my width is going to be three and a quarter, same as the smaller cards that I created and then I folded it in half and from that fold I'm going to mark every quarter of an inch using this pencil for enough spaces to put each of my cards so in this case if I want six cards I'm going to have six little one-fourth inch sized spaces now I'm gonna go along each of those lines and use my scissors to basically score so pressing hard enough that I will have an easy time folding, but not too hard that I'm actually cutting through the paper. Now all of those score lines, we're going to fold our paper along. So basically just folding back and forth so that the paper folds very easily when you're playing with it and it's not too difficult. And basically you want it to be so that you have a little accordion fold by the end of it. So we can then stretch that out all of our lines are now folded and we can flatten it out. So as you're gonna see in a minute here, each of those lines or those spaces are where we're going to attach the cards to this piece of paper that's going to be our mechanism. So to attach them, I'm just using this tape runner from Teresa Collins. It is a mega runner, and I love this tape runner, and I do have it linked down below along with all of the products I use. I try to have linked for you, so always be sure to check out my Amazon shop. Basically, though, you just want a very strong glue. If your glue or tape, whatever you're using, isn't strong, this will not work because your little pieces of paper are just going to pop off. So there you saw that I just went ahead and rounded all of the corners. This is not necessary by any means, I just like the finish that it gives. So with that tape, we're now going to go ahead and place each of our little cards, lining it up along the lines and attaching it to our mechanism. 
So we're just basically layering them on top of each other so that you have, once again, a waterfall effect. So that's the idea of this mechanism. So there's going to be a little space where you can see the card below it and you're just stacking them up. So we're gonna do that all the way to the top until we have all of our cards on there. And then what I like to do is just fold over each of the cards so that we can reinforce the lines that we have the folds at and just press down so that we make sure they are truly attached by the tape runner or glue, whatever we were using. So then we can fold that back over and you can see that we have a full card. Now we have this little tail because I used a longer piece of paper, so I personally decided just to cut that off. You can choose to leave it on, that's up to you. So under all of our cards, we should have this little flap from the mechanism. And as you saw, I went ahead and rounded those corners as well. And this is going to be to the right of all of your little lines, basically. So you have the longer piece to the left, you have all of your little lines that you attach the cards to, and then you have this other piece under those cards. And that piece is going to be the pulley system, basically, or in this case, really, it's a push system because you're pushing the cards up. And so for this, what I like to do is to one, reinforce the card, and two, to be able to have a place to tuck in a piece of ribbon, I like to pick out another piece of paper, or in this case a journaling card, to put over the top of it. So I'm using this cute card that has these little shoes that remind me of the sort of sandals that people typically hike in, which will be perfect for these backpacking entries. So I went ahead and put tape down on the back of that, and then you can see I have this little piece of ribbon. This isn't necessary, it doesn't have to be ribbon, you can be creative in what you use, or not have anything at all, you could just have it be paper, in which case I would leave this piece of the mechanism a little bit longer so that it sticks out beneath your journaling cards. But basically, you just want it to be a little thing that's going to as you can see, be at the bottom of the journaling cards and it's going to poke out so that whoever is flipping through your journal knows that this is something that's interactive and they can play with that and push it up and then make all of those cards have this waterfall-like motion where they all follow each other in a series. So I did my best to make that as clear as possible, but if you have any questions at all, please do comment down below. Before I go, I did want to show you how this would look inside your journal. So basically, you're just going to put tape on the back of the piece that is not the tab. Obviously, you don't want to put any tape on that. This is just the piece of paper that's left over from the mechanism. That's how you're going to attach it to your journal. So you're just pushing that down. And then from there, you can fold your tab back over with all of your waterfall cards and then you're going to use that to just push up as you can see here and all of your cards will follow suit. So that is how you create a waterfall card for inside your journal. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun figuring out how to make this so that I could share it with you and it's going to be a great way to incorporate more photos in my journal which I'm always excited about. I will be having a journal with me featuring my backpacking trip in which I use these journaling cards. So be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you get notifications when that video is out. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this possible. And of course, if you want to learn more about journaling and how to's, this is the place to be. So join our abiding fam. Thanks so much.